Jason Leo here. As you can see, back again with another training update. Now, you've probably noticed training looks a little different. And that's because, well, it is different. Uh, after about 15 weeks of my prior training, I realized that the higher volume approach, uh, focusing mostly on the main movements, isn't really for me. And the basic reason is because I need to work on those smaller muscles. That is the reality. I'm always getting injured because I'm stuck in this world where I always focus on just lifting and not really the muscles surrounding those lifts. Now, this isn't me saying I'm injured because luckily I'm not. But after basically going through the movements and noticing the nagging soreness of my prior injuries you know coming and going from time to time i kind of realized hey you know maybe you should not be an idiot because i always make these videos where i say hey train like a bodybuilder because that's how you stay healthy but i wasn't really doing it and i was constantly basically getting overly caught up in trying to hit those numbers like that is the part of powerlifting. I am supposed to focus on my numbers, but I should be smart about it. Like one of my favorite quotes is, how do you get strong? Train smart for like 10 years, right? Uh, well, not exactly, but it's along those lines. And that's what I'm gonna attempt to do. Now, this approach is a little different from what I'm used to doing because it's kind of really simple to be frank. And it's actually, from probably one of the most famous powerlifters, and that is Ed Cohn. If you guys don't know Ed Cohn, seriously, I've talked about him many times in the past. I've done his deadlift program, and if you are into powerlifting, you know who he is. Uh, and I'm actually attempting to go through his training program. Now, if you've ever YouTubed his older videos or even looked on any kind of 
website, there's basically his general template where he basically goes through the workouts, uh, works up to usually two sets of his working weight and then goes through his accessories, which is kind of in a, we'll call bodybuilder fashion, but focusing more on the rehab, which is going to be something interesting to do because it's nothing I have never really attempted. And uh, yeah, so we'll have to see. It's always good to throw something new in because then that way you can see what works best for you. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of give you a quick little explanation of why things are changing and what to expect. I might go over a little bit more in depth of what my training is going to entitle. But for today, I just wanted to kind of give you this little flashback Friday video of how I used to make my training updates and give you a little bit of an explanation as well. But guys, that's the video. So do me a favor, go down below, drop me some comments because I'd love to hear what I have to say. You know, if you want to hear more about what I actually plan on doing for my training, feel free to let me know. Uh, but other than that, just hit that like, share, and subscribe to spread that love because I will see you next time. <laughs>